Hey everyone, this is a quick demo of the new features in Kraken 3.4.0. So, the left panel has been reinvigorated, updated for much more flexibility of, of movement in these panels. They can be shrunk down to nothing, and that layout is saved. So, if I I previously saved this media layout I'm going to go to alt syncing just to move to it one and I've got media which has got a large media panel so there you go you can save any arrangement if you want to be in just syncing mode or media mode or if you're looking at loads of different EDLs you can do that so that's useful uh, the bubbles have existed already but we now have in this bubbles menu show purple bubble and red bubble lots of new power with the ability to uh, well, the orange bubble, just in case people didn't know, is for in the media panels. You can send your audio sound rolls to the timeline, uh, which I'll show a bit more on later. The new purple bubble allows you to select what you're searching for in the speech panel. So I've added this new counter here, which says how many transcriptions you're currently searching from. So all of them are piped in this project is, uh, is 19,000. If I turn them all off just to show you, there's now zero. If, so if I want to add a specific day, imagine this was a certain day of ADR or crowd or something, you just pipe it in and it shows now we've got 2,000 visible. Um, so that's very useful. Similar, red panel, the EDL panel now allows you to filter uh, what you is available for matches. So any time you run any of the match commands, you can say, oh no, I just want to filter, I just want to do matches on these three days. So good for advanced troubleshooting. Um, yeah, pretty useful stuff. And those bubbles, they save with the project, the bubble settings. So, um, and I'm not sure if we save them with the layout, but we can look at saving them with the layout. So you could have, I think they maybe they do save with the layout. You could, ha you could have a, a, a syncing mode that showed you the, the uh, blue bubbles for sound rolls or an assembly mode that showed you the orange and red bubbles and speech alt mode showed the purple bubbles. So uh, advanced matching, fine matches improvements. We have a very cool thing. I will select some of these currently unmatched. Match by script, which is code for, for coders or if you have a complex situation where you need to do a manipulation like use the first five letters of something or the last seven letters or a bit of this and a bit of that or remove a certain thing this uses the Lua scripting language where you set this value match and you get all the metadata well, some of the metadata from the audio files and the EDL clips and it runs through each selected EDL clip uh, and compares them against every audio file that's currently bubbled that's currently blue bubbled and no red bubbles sorry uh, and it runs this script uh, there's a bit of a help for more info here but what you should do if you have some complex matching is just contact me mark and show me and I can devise a complex script if necessary and just copy paste it to you and this will be able to solve a lot more obscure matching problems so I'm just gonna run it there you go that it worked script match so that's a new matching method I'm gonna clear that and and run the script on uh, on the entire thing. Uh, not clear matches, sorry, clear selection. Let's run script match on the entire 800 events. Okay, boom, boom. So the entire thing matched on that script, which in this situation was just the default script, which just takes the the last f four but one characters from the file real name and the EDL clip real name which in this situation, the real names match, so it matches. Uh, yeah. And for very tricky situations where you have no metadata, only time code, this is something I added recently because of a very complex assembly I did where the labeling was really mangled. If you if you have a, if you select a certain scene, let's say here, we, we think, I always say five. So I think this is some kind of scene five but I don't know what day it's from. I just know it's all from the same day. A new method, ma find matches using TC only, will take 
all of the selected events and it will compare them all as a group against every single sound roll uh, pretty sure it's just every sound roll but we could look at filtering that but then it goes that runs counter to the point it tries every single sound roll in the project and looks at how many matches it gets and the one with the most matches wins so essentially you're just forcing trying to say which which days do these do these clips align to and if you get a day where every clip uh, matches the, the time codes of the shots from that day it's going to win so if we run it find matches using tc boom it found them tc forced and you'll see the matches are correct so it found that on this on, on the certain day that had these audio files all of these clips found a match so it works extremely useful for troublesome situations um, and connected to that is a little useful ui display we've done where if you're viewing your audio files on the timeline so this is these are your sound rolls essentially um, i'll zoom out press e to zoom out to everything if you click on an edl event it's quite this little white line here shows you the source time of day so the source time is 22:24. it highlights 2224 if i go to a different source time say 15 it goes to 1550 so that time has been highlighted in this white line and so for similar for troubleshooting you can say ah, okay that time code exists in those two files so just a little useful display which uh, shows you the slice of that certain source time code through all of your material uh, okay uh, timeline source highlight speech alts we have a multi-select for the speech alts so strongly requested by some people if I do hello I've got hello previously you just clicked on individual things you can now command click which just like in the uh, red panel the main selection is independent we have this 5 of 29 selected so this is like a multi-select which you kind of call like the spot list or the pull list if you want but you can clear it so if you have multiple hellos selected and his pro tools behind uh, multiple hellos stack spots selected boom they all get spotted uh, of course all the other modes train spot selected and sync spot which you would have seen before I won't run that now because I'm just doing a brief demo but uh, and if you clear the selection of course it will just spot it will spot all of them the default for this command obviously if to spot an individual one you just press spot but the uh, default without a selection is to spot the entire list which is what you do is if, if you if you search for this and you want to get all of them you can just spot them all train spot all of them boom all of those just came here so this is now more refined control of that um, cool uh, up down keys still work when you lose focus we added a new focus system which is quite complex so if you're moving around the blue list and you click on the, the green the blue list still works so there's no loss of focus you can be you can click I'm using the up and down arrows and I'm clicking green click blue up and down arrows similar with it with the other panels if you're if you're looking at transcriptions and you click here the transcription up and down still works so that's pretty useful uh, reveal project if you want to move your projects around I don't recommend it but if you really want to I've added reveal project folder which will open up the projects folder these are all the projects you could back them up move them somewhere else your the paths within the project uh, file are just absolute paths so if you if your drive is different the files won't be found uh, someday we can upgrade it so that it can you can relink to a different drive path but for now you, you can consider that a kind of like a archive where you could bring it out in the future and if you've got the same computer back it would load um, hiding the app command H now works to hide the app uh, how do you get it back though there you go I don't personally use hide but there you go uh, bug fixes waveform scrolling we we uh, I found the waveform scrolling to be too slow so we've, we re recalibrated it so that when you zoom in it moves doesn't move too far it was too fast when you were zoomed in and people that don't know this but actually if you scroll if you scroll if you use uh, sideways scroll in the middle it goes slowly sideways scroll at the side and put the mouse to the side and it scrolls faster so there's different ways of scrolling based on where you are also also you can just hold down I think it's uh, shift hold, uh, shift command to move fast as well and you can drag this bar um, 
various things. The so if you've got Kantar files, and they uh, this isn't Kantar files, so I don't have any available. But I will post a separate video about the Kantar fader display. Uh, yeah. Okay. That was just a quick. Just wanted to show the new stuff. I'll post other info soon.